The presidential inauguration marks the beginning of a new journey and mission for our nation and one of its leaders. However, getting to the inauguration to witness such a historical event is a journey in itself. The metro opened at 4 a.m., which was followed by a continuous flow of people throughout the entire city. Groups of inauguration goers bundled up to stand in line. Some people even braved the D.C. traffic for a ticket, but enjoyed spending the day with fellow Americans. I came down here to get tickets and earlier in the uh, weekend and was in traffic for four hours. It's great to see that we're all here, um, you know, have, having some sort of patriotism. For others, this year's inauguration served as the anniversary of a special family event. 20 years ago, we were also here for President Clinton's, so it's exactly 20 years to the date. And we were here with my son, and this time we get to come with my grandson, and this is the first time for him, so that makes it really special. Today, we continue a never-ending journey to bridge the meaning of those words to the realities of our time. For history tells us that while these truths may be self-evident, they've never been self-executed. Yeah. Right now. While freedom is a gift from God, it must be secured by His people here on earth. The ceremony ended with a riveting national anthem sung by music artist Beyonce. Inauguration Day can be quite a trip on the body, but many would say witnessing such a historical event was worth the journey. This is Callie Cox with Doan Student Media.